Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are doing Cougar Talk Weekly with Cougar Is Bay. Um, I am Cougar Is Bay and you can find us in Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, and you know all kinds of uh, social media like Discord as well. Uh, today we are going to talk about some of the stuff from PTS that uh, has been said. I'm really happy that the developers aren't putting a lot of stuff into pts kind of like what they did last patch um so it's kind of a breath of fresh air and i'm i'm very excited about that actually um and it's it's something very cool um one of the things that we're going to talk about is that they are fixing the graven deep and earthen root drops that are being curated uh, just from anywhere so not only from the you know the mob drops chest everywhere that's getting uh, fixed it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be from bosses only so that will get fixed what this means is guys and gals if you want to get all the curated drops from there please go and farm it before they fix it in uh, PTS update 36 it's getting fixed, folks. It is going to get fixed, so might as well take advantage of it now and get the most out of it. Another thing is the Wardens, they're still being buffed a bit, but um, it, from my understanding, they're still not there. Um, we just have to make sure that we kind of follow it closely and see if they you know, scale it back to the way it was or if you know they they do something about that um just buff it a little bit but not too much or you know kind of bring it back to where wardens would be viable in content um at least in the pve side so we will keep a closer eye on that um you might be getting some of that in our podcast we're gonna talk about that for sure and what the sauce decides to do with that and the biggest change from the patch notes is the elemental susceptibility morph. Um, so it's not the Ellie Drain um, and the Destro Staff. It's the other morph you can morph it to from Ellie Drain. Um, that's actually going to go um, to 30 seconds. They did change the Ellie Drain morph to go to 60 seconds. So that's pretty good. But to be, to be honest... If the changes that they're doing to elemental susceptibility, which I'm about to say, it's worth running it over Ellie Drain. Um, even if it's like, you know, every every 30 seconds instead of 60. So this morph went up from 23 seconds to 30 seconds. So that's one thing they changed, which is pretty cool. Like it adds a little bit better, um, you know, kind of reliable if you're doing solo content with that um it's it's worth it but the biggest thing is it's gonna add burning chilled and concussed every six seconds you heard that right you're gonna be able to add burning chilled and concussed every six seconds so depending what kind of destro stuff you have you're gonna be able to proc stuff like minor brittle and you know all kinds of shenanigans now people are like oh this works for ec no unfortunately it doesn't i that's one of the first things that i actually looked at because i was like hell if this works for ec it's very easy to do i just put this for 30 seconds every six seconds we get the proc but unfortunately that's not the case so sorry folks that's very unfortunate but that's not what uh what we got over here so that's i was kind of bummed about that in a way but this is still worth it to be run in a support or you know kind of a support slot it's worth it if um just to get the the effects so i could see a tank running this for sure um i've seen tanks running this before uh, the off tank, especially in VCR, where they ran Ellie Drain. Um, so I could see that happening again to where it's, you know, that particular situation. I could definitely see that. It would be pretty cool. 
And then I could also see, um, you know, healers doing it as well. But as far as, um, you know, who's going to be running this, most likely it's going to be a support in some way, shape, or form. And it's it's probably not going to be all the time. Um, we have to figure out, like, our bar space. The bar space for support is very, very, very heavily um, relied on. So we just have to make sure as, uh, as a support that we have space to do this. And, you know, if we don't, um, what can we take off to get this? Or, you know, if it's worth it to even do that. Other than that, um, it's, you know, pretty, pretty situational as far as, you know, if it needs to be done or not. I personally would like to see this in more comps, but uh, I can see where, you know, if you don't have the space, you don't have the space. So I definitely can see the situation there. Uh, but the next thing um, that we will talk about, and Skinny did mention this in his update 36, the new PTS notes, somebody mentioned it in his stream. And he's like, yeah, we should do, we should have this. Um, one thing is a lot of people have been saying that the trial chests they they suck because they don't get perfected gear from it, and to be honest, folks, it does suck. Um, I would love to have perfected gear from trial chests, and some people have said, "Well, why not put it to where you have all the chests before the final boss?" Um, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I know it's not like scattered out, so like you kind of go on like a little treasure hunt on it but um maybe you could still scatter it out you know before the last boss um and you know that that could be a situation where where you could do that maybe that's you know something you can do but um as far as everything else why why not just do that you know why why not have that situation happen other than that um I mean, it, it would make things a little bit better. It would make gear a little bit more formable. Um, not only just gear in itself, but like weapons and and jewelry. Um, and I mean, you don't have to gold out the jewelry or anything in those chests. Um, you know, just having purple jewelry sometimes can be fine. And that way, um, I know in VDSR, um, you know, veteran now, ship, um, dread sail reef, sorry. You can have to where, you can have it to where you don't necessarily have to have a guaranteed, um, gold drop if you do it this way. And it makes it a little bit better because we, you can go back to the way it was. Uh, the reason that they changed it was because people were complaining, Hey, like we're not getting jewelry drops like we used to but if you have perfected gear from trial chess you can actually kind of fix this a little bit and like i said you don't have to do it and um you don't have to do it in in the gold form as far as jewelry for the chest um to be honest even in blue form it doesn't matter um obviously you know if it's not vet you could have it to where it doesn't give you bad stuff. Um, at that point, you could you could upgrade the gear to purple, and um, instead of perfected gear from normal trials, just have it to where it's just purple, purple gear, purple normal gear, instead of blue. And then you could have purple perfected gear in the veteran trials and just put it to where you have to complete a significant amount of content in order to get to um you know the last boss so it will be right before the last boss so in, in dread sale you could have it to where it's right after the reef guardian and just scatter the chest in those little platforms uh, on the way to tide one to laria uh, where all those ads are like you can just scatter all the chests that are supposed to be in the trial just scatter them all over the place right there it would actually 
be more beneficial to do it like that and just have perfected gear like i mean it's not so much to ask um i understand why you know you didn't you don't want to do it because like it adds a little bit more you know finding to the game and it, it gives the normal players a chance to get the gear you know a little bit sooner but to be honest normal trials are really not that difficult um it, it should be fine it should be perfectly fine so i would i would say this is this is a start and if it becomes a hassle like try it on pts if it becomes a hassle then just have it to where you know <laughs> change it back i don't know um it, it would make sense it would make sense I've been talking about having perfected gear and trial chests for a long time, and I hope they do make this change in the future. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be sometime soon, but it would be nice to have it in like two or three patches to where we can get perfected gear from trial chests and not have to go crazy on, on that, um, to be honest, so... It would be it would be pretty awesome to do that. As as far as uh, everything else is situated, um, that's that's pretty much it for uh, for this week. I just kind of wanted to touch base on those uh, things that I saw on PTS, and like I said, we will go a little bit more deep in the PTS notes at the end of this month in October um, because that's when our podcast is going to be released and we have a housing contest coming up it the video on the details on that will drop very soon probably mid-October so keep an eye out for that and you know kind of get ready try to figure out what kind of theme you want because it's going to be a halloween theme for sure so kind of think what you kind of want for for that halloween theme to be situated and i mean that's that's pretty much it um make sure you guys uh check out our teams we obviously have weekly traders donation based uh guild we have monday night events uh beginner and advanced prog teams on tuesday wednesday thursday and friday uh, the prog team, uh, the advanced prog team is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the beginner team is Friday night. Um, if you have any questions, you know, join our Discord. We'll get you information there. And PvP nights are happening, but not every week. Um, I know scoring is doing PvP nights. Um, all the info is on Discord, so whenever that happens, you will see it under the PvP tag. The Tales of Trivia tournament is coming up later this month as well. A video will be out kind of about the same time as uh, the video from the housing contest. So be on the lookout for that to see when the event is. Um, and there you go, folks. Uh, make sure you guys uh, thank our Discord boosters, Boss Style Cougars Bay, Scoring Music 09, X Reading X, and Merc 271. Thank you guys for watching. Hit our social media links, please. Like, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It will really, really help us. And it just means that you're supporting us in the social media empire that we have nowadays. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It would be really, really appreciated. Thank you, folks, and have a good day.